My name's Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions. We're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to start off by thanking all 1,709 subscribers in over 70 countries globally. If you're new to the channel and you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, please click subscribe as in the past. I promise not to share any of your data with anyone outside of Aspen Now without your consent. Today, what we're going to be covering is catalog variables, and more specifically, uh, how to take a single line text variable and, and create a catalog client script, which will make it behave um, as uh, an integer value. So uh, basically, the screen that we're looking at right now is catalog items, and the way to get here um, is to go to maintain items or type in, I type in n items because it filters the list a little bit better. Um, we have here the table name in the URL, so if you want to go to SC underscore cat underscore item dot list that's another option too and we'll notice here that this is filtered i took one that was out of the box which is this service category request uh, when we click on if we were to click on service category request it'll bring up a screen like this and then um, what it will contain displays and then we'll scroll down to our variables here uh, then i created a variable called number um, which is actually a single line text and just as a refresher um, the single line text is basically um, the same as a string for fields. And that's one thing to kind of get down right now is that uh, when you're creating an application on the back end um, outside a catalog, we refer to these things as fields. Um, the equivalent in service catalog would be a variable. So I created one called number. And here we have, uh, it's not really mapping to a field. So this isn't a record producer or anything like that. And then it's a single line text, which again, the equivalent would be a string. Uh, we don't really have an integer um, selection here in our type. So we're going to have to script this out. There could be another way to do it, um, but uh, you'll see the script is, is uh, pretty easy to follow. So here we have our, our question and name. Um, remember that if you're scripting against fields, uh, excuse me, uh, variables that you'll want to use name. So you will notice here that this is lowercase and the question is, uh, is uppercase for this. And it's just a matter of preference the way organization does it. Um, sometimes variables and uh, will have different rules in terms of what, how you're able to apply the naming convention to them versus fields. So if we go into the item and uh, again, if we were to click on try it at the very top of, of this screen, um, it would bring us to a screen that looks like this. And here we have our number field. And uh, basically, if we were to type in one, it'll kick out an, uh, an error. And it says here, please only enter in numbers. Commas and periods are allowed to smiley face. So I'll show you the script in just one second. I just wanted to mention that uh, our sponsor, Third Republic, uh, located in the United Kingdom, uh, they're going to be having a little get-together on the next couple of weeks, a ServiceNow meetup. And um, in my previous video, I showed some pictures of the, the previous meetups that they've had. Um, they have a really cool HQ in London, and Brad Potter is the person to contact. So if you're an organization out there looking for ServiceNow talent, or if you're an individual that's looking for, for ServiceNow position, uh, Third Republic is your best-in-class solution for that, and Brad, Cot Brad Potter excuse me, would be your, your contact. So let's go take a look at that catalog client script. Um, again, to get to catalog client scripts, um, we would type in G and then... I don't know, client or something like that. It's probably the easiest way to get to it that I that I figured out anyway. So then we'll take a look at the actual script itself. So I called it integer only, and then we'll click on the actual value, and it'll take you into here. And then uh, the way it was created was um, against the actual item instead of a variable set. So we'll notice that this is on change, and the item is the one that we were looking at just previously. And then we have a variable name of number. So basically, the key line here is number seven. And uh, again, I'll have this script prepared for you. So um, I'll cut and paste it into the, um, uh, the description of this video so that we have it here. But we'll notice here that we have um, in these brackets right here, these, these values here, zero to nine. And then we have the, uh, the comma and we have the period. So um, we'll notice that we named this variable here within the script integer. And then we're just basically saying if integer um, is not one of these things contained in here, then kick out that error. So if we want to take out, if you just want to have numbers without the comma and the period, 
then what we can do is we'll just take them out and we'll just have zero to nine there. And of course I'm getting an error here because I've left this open too long. So my apologies on that, but it did take. So we'll see there that the comma and the, the period are not there. So what we'll do now is we'll refresh this screen and now we'll try to add the period and now we're kicking out the error, whereas before it, it did not kick out the error. So if we want, just for, just for show, we can go ahead and add it, period, comma. We'll hit save. And now we'll go back to the item. Make sure you're refreshing the screen with client scripts. Uh, we need to have a fresh render. So if I want to do like 1.0, uh, we're fine. We're good to go. No error now. So if we type in the word one, not so good. It's going to kick out the error. And this is a way to prevent people from putting in uh, the incorrect information. That's our segment for today. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.